Today's the day. We are headed back to Hawaii. We did it, buddy. We're at our gate. We're gonna go on the world. What do you have to say about what we just experienced? I think we're gonna stay on the island for the rest of our lives. While Sarah's gone and Jack's sleeping, I am going to put this together. Jack! Look what I got! Alright guys, today's the day. We are headed back to Hawaii. Sarah, are you ready? Doesn't look like I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> are you ready to go back to Hawaii? Yeah, that I'm ready for. <laughs> Just over the last couple of days, we've been like having some serious, serious fun. Want to go back to Hawaii and We've managed to handle it pretty well the whole time we've been here. It's been a ton of fun. We've been here for three months. For me, I feel like the last month I've been ready to go back, but these last few days, we've just been like, get us back. We've seen all of our friends there. It looks so nice. We're so excited to just go back and change things up. We leave in an hour. An hour. Our current situation is, so we came with this suitcase, this suitcase, this one, and this one. We just had to buy this one because now we have so much stuff that we've accumulated since we've been here. So we had to buy another suitcase. We still have to find a way to fit all of this in one of these. This, all of this. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do it, but we're gonna definitely try. Jack is having a rampage this morning. He's kind of doing good right now, but it's been, it's been kind of wild. Crossing our fingers that he's gonna do good on this flight. The last flight we went on to Florida was really nice because there was an extra seat for some reason and that was a game changer. Him in an extra seat, he could just kind of move around, do his own thing. But when it's just us in two seats holding him, it's so hard. He just is constantly moving and he hates being constrained, has to move around. So, And it's a day flight, so he's probably not going to sleep very long. So wish us luck one hour later we made it to our gate we did it buddy we're at our gate we're gonna go on the wall are you excited to go on the air wall it's gonna go high in the sky we're gonna go back to hawaii that was insane so we ended up making everything fit in our bags we used five bags and they're all like 50 pounds the line was so so long to get through so we made it through and we are here just in time. We're gonna get on our flight and Jack is super tired. So hopefully he falls asleep right when we get on the plane. We tried to time it with his nap. We're gonna get on our flight and go to Hawaii. We're gonna do it, buddy. Can you go sleep on the plane? Can you go sleepy? Yeah? Can you go sleep -ins? Okay, can you go get mama? Sarah. <laughs> come on, come this way. Can you hold Dada's hand? Oh, where are you going? Hey, let's go find Mama. Come on. Come this way. Come on. Okay, okay. That is the worst possible for him to sit down. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh my gosh. I hope he can sit still on this flight. If not, this is going to be the longest thing of our life. How are we feeling? Pretty good. Pretty good. You guys know I brought Jack's skateboard. I cannot go to the airport without bringing Jack's skateboard. Now it is a tradition. <laughs> even though sometimes it makes things kind of hectic. Oh no. You saw Ozzy laying on. <laughs> Laying on the ground. That's icky. Oh, no, no, no. Hey. Jack. I don't know why I'm doing this. He already laid on the floor. Zach, are you just going to sit down there, buddy? You can't sit down there. <laughs> How's that bar? Is that good? <laughs> You just gonna sit there the whole flight? Okay. Oh, 
many unbearable hours later. What do you have to say about what we just experienced? I think we're gonna stay on the island for the rest of our lives. <laughs> so we don't have to fly with him. I think that's what we have to do. Never leave again. Never leave. Hey, Jack. Yeah. How was your day, bud? Yeah. Were you just a little angel on the flight? Sarah, what do you think? Avocado? Top, top five hardest days with Jack? Mm, yeah. Top three? Yeah, well, we're just gonna confine his space on an airplane, so. Hardest day with Jack we've ever had? I'd say like third. Yeah. Third hardest day with Jack we've ever had. I don't think we're being dramatic either. It was, I just want to go to bed. So we just got back to our place in Hawaii. In all her glory, our studio, well, technically, technically it's a one bedroom. If you guys haven't been around for long enough yet to know where we've lived um, for the past year and a half, well, this is it. Actually, it's been two years, huh? This is it. Um, Jack overtook our bedroom, so. This is Jack's room, and this is Sarah and I's room, and this is also the living room, and this is also the kitchen. We came from lots of space in Utah for three months to no space at all. It's awesome, like, I could not stop smiling since we got in the car, being back here in Hawaii. Like, I am so, so happy. How are you feeling? Very happy. Check this out. Oh! You guys are the best. You guys made this happen. That's so freaking cool. We're gonna hang that right here in our living room. Um, but we got back and we had packages galore and a bike. We got a new bike. <laughs> yeah, buddy. I ordered that bike five months ago and while we were in Utah, it got delivered. So it's just an electric bike for Jack and I and for Sarah to cruise around on. Flight was awful. It was so bad. He screamed, not like the whole time, but basically throughout the whole flight. So every like two minutes, he would just let out like three big screams, throw his head, hit his head on us, flail his body like a dead fish. And Sarah and I are just packing him, passing him back and forth. We're turning on Coco Melon. We're trying to give him toys. We're giving him every snack we can think of. And it was just long. He slept for, how long did he sleep for, Sarah? 45 to 50 minutes. 45 to 50 minutes on the flight. And I it was a six hour, six hour flight. Minutes. So it was just hard. Uh, he had a few good moments where he would just sit and watch, but he was just like screaming and just flailing his body everywhere. He nailed me in the head. Aside from the flight, we seriously are so happy to be back. We cannot wait to take Jack to the beach tomorrow. You guys know that we're moving into a new place in two weeks, so we're only here for two more weeks in this place. We'll finally get our own bedroom. We'll finally get our own bedroom. If you can imagine the stress of coming back from a lot of space to none at all and all of this everywhere, it's there, but we're in Hawaii, you guys. We're in Hawaii, and we're gonna go to the beach and have so much fun, and Jack is going to thrive as long as we are not in here. How's that power bowl, buddy? I think he likes it. We are going to put away whatever we can, put Jack down for nine nights. We can have a better day tomorrow, huh, bud? Oh, are you saying night night? Good night, guys. We will see you in the morning. We need to go to bed. <laughs> Next morning. What's up guys, good morning. We literally could not wait another second. We went to the beach first thing this morning. Jack is going down for a nap right now. Sarah is still at the beach with her friends, just having a big old reunion with everyone. She's so excited. Bo both of us are seriously so excited to be back. Like just being there at the water today and being able to like be out in the sunshine in February and get back in the water was awesome after being in Utah for three months. I showed you guys this bike that came. Jack is seriously obsessed with riding on these e-bikes. My brother and some friends have them and I'd borrow theirs and take Jack on it. And it, it literally, like if he's having the worst day in the world, I'll put I'll say, hey bike, you wanna go on the bike? And he'll just be like, his eyes will light up and we'll go out on the bike for an hour or two and it literally makes everything better. So I was like, if there's anything that I'm gonna invest our money into it is making Jack happy right now and that's this this bike while he's sleeping I'm gonna try and assemble it and I want to surprise him with it when he wakes up because I mean I'm, I've told him hey we got a bike but I don't think he knows what that means until he sees the bike and then we're gonna go on a ride while Sarah's gone and Jack's sleeping I am going to put this together let's do this <laughs> I 
need to go outside. This is way too loud. <laughs> There's no way he's gonna stay asleep through this. Oh my gosh. back from the beach so good to be back i'm just a happy girl <laughs> you're so happy yeah you got your mcdonald's yeah yeah well i'm gonna get back to finishing my bike whoa, but whoa, it's black it's black it's cool yeah i'm it's like a, so, whoa it's a lot shinier than i thought it'd be. yeah i'm like a black assassin on that thing part I guess the part where we put in the light the headlight for the bike the screws that are supposed to be there are not there so can't ride it in the dark yet I need to go to hardware store and find some screws so that I can fix that Sarah's like go outside <laughs> I'm in the bathroom I literally have to go in the bathroom so Jack can't hear us epic but I am so excited for him to wake up and see the bike we still have to go pump up the tires too so we're gonna go get screws to put the head the headlight on both of the tires and then go for a ride. But he's still sleeping, which is a miracle. I cannot wait. One nap later. <gasps> Jack, yeah. we're gonna go outside, huh? He's awake, he's, he's awake. awake. And it is time to surprise him. We're gonna surprise him with the new... Okay. B-I-K-E. Wait right there. <laughs> he's like, well, why do I have to wait? Wait he's right so there. Okay, stay here. I'm gonna surprise you, bud. Look, look, Jack. Jack. Guess what dad I got? I got the shivers. Oh, that makes me so excited. Jack, Jack. look what I got. <gasps> oh, <my. laughs> it's a bike for Duck. That's Jack's bike for him and dad. Ours. We don't have to use Uncle Tedder's anymore. No. We can use our own bike. Jack, are you so happy? Check it out. Oh, this is ours, bud. Oh, yeah. You want to go on a ride? New bike. We can ride it every day now. <gasps> Remember how you sit right there and hold? Yeah, you wear Jack. your helmet, right? Yes, always wearing a helmet. This is your bike, bud. He's yeah. very underwhelmed. No, he's freaking. He just wants to go. He's so overwhelmed that he can't even express it. He just wants it. to go. He doesn't even know what to say. He does want to go. He does. He's like, okay, cool. I got a bike. Let's freaking go ride. I know. First attempt was a major fail. He used to love riding this bike with me, and I think he's just developed some fears now. I don't know. So we're gonna try again. I can use this towel to make it a little comfier, but hopefully he doesn't scream this time. Oh, <laughs> 
for him. Um, so hopefully things get better when we move. But yeah, we're gonna go watch the sunset. First one since we've been back. Yeah. See all the friends. Woo! Woo! Yeah, yeah. It's just me. Sarah's in the shower and Jack's going to sleep. We went to the beach and hung out with all our friends and it was an epic reunion. We got back and we are like, oh, we were didn't even film Jack at the beach. But that was kind of nice at the same time. Like sometimes it's nice to just not pull your phone out. We love you all. We're so grateful that you're all here. Um, this has been an epic journey. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and click that notify button to be notified of all our future videos. And also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. You guys are seriously the best. We are so excited to be back here in Hawaii and we have some really fun, exciting things coming up in the next few months that we're really excited to tell you about and show you. Thanks for being here. You guys make this so much fun. So we'll see you next time.